In this question, we want to draw influence line diagram for beam shown in the figure for reaction at A, reaction at B, shear force at F and bending moment at F. And because we have internal hinges at E and G in our beam, this beam becomes statically determinate and when we draw influence line diagram for statically determinate beam using muller breslau principle then it displaces like a mechanism so when the beam displaces like a mechanism it should satisfy following constraints first one is straight segments of the beam should remain straight the vertical displacement at hinge or roller supports should be zero and also the segments connected at internal hinge may have different slopes so let's draw the influence line diagram for support reaction at a using muller breslau principle at a we have the vertical support reaction and to draw the influence line diagram we release the vertical displacement degree of freedom at a and give a unit displacement to point at a so point a will move somewhere here and this displacement is one unit and now rest of the structure will displace like a mechanism while satisfying the constraints of the beam because we have roller supports at b c and d the vertical displacements at point b c and d will be zero so these points will remain where they originally were and in our beam we have three straight segments segment a e segment e b f c g and segment g d and these segments will remain straight after displacement also and because for segment e b f c g the vertical displacements of points b and c are zero so entire segment e b f c g will remain horizontal after displacement also now because point a moves up by unit magnitude and point e remains where it was and the segment ae should remain straight so it rotates about hinge at e for segment gd g has zero vertical displacement and d also has zero vertical displacement so gd will also remain horizontal without any displacement so this green line becomes influence line diagram for vertical support reaction at a next we want to draw influence line diagram for reaction at b so we release the vertical displacement degree of freedom at b and move it by one unit so this displacement is one unit and rest of the structure will displace like a mechanism so again because at a c and d we have roller supports or hinge supports so a c and d will have zero vertical displacements and the segments a e e b f c g and g d will remain straight now for segment e b f c g b goes up by unit magnitude and c remains where it originally was so the entire segment should displace so that b has one unit vertical displacement and c has zero vertical displacement so this is how the segment will remain straight while maintaining 
the constraints of the structure. Now because at E we have an internal hinge so we can have different rotations for two segments at E. Similarly at G also we have internal hinge so we can have different rotations for two segments connected at G. Now for segment AE A has zero vertical displacement and E has some vertical displacement and AE should remain straight so it should displace like this for segment GD D has zero displacement and G displaces in downward direction and for GD to remain straight it should displace like this now if we want we can find the displacements at E and G also using similar triangles. So this distance will be 2 plus 4 that is 6 meters and this distance will be 2 plus 2 plus 4 that is 8 meters and this triangle and this triangle is similar so if this displacement is y then y upon 8 will be equals to 1 upon 6 so y will become equals to 8 by 6 or 4 by 3 so this displacement will be 4 by 3 units similarly we can find the vertical displacement of g also using similar triangles so if this distance is y upon this distance that is 2 meters equals to this distance upon this distance that is 1 upon 6 so y will become 1 upon 3 units and because this displacement is in downward direction it will have a negative sign so this will be influence line diagram for support reaction at B. Next we want to draw influence line diagram for shear force at F and to do that we cut a section at F and displace the two ends in positive sense of shear force. So the left segment will go down by A by L and because it is going down it will have a minus sign here A is this distance that is 2 meters and L is length of segment BC that is 6 meters so that becomes minus 1 by 3 the right segment will go up by magnitude B by L and because it is going up it will have a positive sign B is this distance that is 4 meters and L again is 6 meters so that becomes 2 by 3 units so F minus has displacement minus 1 by 3 and F plus has displacement plus 2 by 3 and rest of the beam will displace like a mechanism satisfying all the constraints because at A, B, C and D we have either hinge or roller supports so they will have zero vertical displacements at E and G we have internal hinges so the two segments connected at E and G can have different slopes and segments and the segment AE should remain straight the segment E B F minus should remain straight the segment F plus C G should remain straight and segment G D should also remain straight so the displacement of the beam will be
the displacement of f minus is minus 1 by 3 and displacement of f plus is 2 by 3 and I can find vertical displacements at E and G using similar triangles so for vertical displacement at E I can use this and this triangle is similar triangle and I know these distances are 2 meters and 2 meters and note that when I'm using similar triangles I will only use magnitudes of distances so this distance upon this distance will be y upon 2 equals to this distance I will write that as plus 1 by 3 upon this distance that is 2 so y equals to 1 by 3 and it is in upward direction so it will have positive sign similarly for vertical displacement at G I can use this triangle and this triangle is similar triangle and I know this distance and this distance is 4 meters and 2 meters so this distance if it is y I can write that is y upon this distance that is 2 equals to this distance that is 2 by 3 upon this distance that is 4 so y is equals to 1 by 3 and because it is in downward direction I will write that as minus 1 by 3 so this is the influence line diagram for shear force at C with magnitudes at all the key points next we want to draw influence line diagram for bending moment at F to do that we introduce an internal hinge at F and displace F in vertical direction by magnitude AB by L here A is 2 meters B is 4 meters and L is 6 meters so that will be total 4 by 3 unit vertical displacement so F will go up by magnitude 4 by 3 units because we have hinge or roller supports at A, B, C and D they will have 0 vertical displacements we have internal hinges at E and G so the two segments connected at E and G can have different slopes and segments AE EF F C G and G D should remain straight so the displacement of our structure will be something like and we can find vertical displacements of E and G using similar triangles for that we have this distance and this distance this is 2 meters this is 2 meters so for vertical displacement of E we use this and this triangle is similar triangle so this distance y upon this distance 2 meter will be equals to this distance 4 by 3 upon this distance will be 2 meters so this gives me y equals to 4 by 3 units and because this is in downward direction I'll write that with minus sign so minus 4 by 3 unit displacement for vertical displacement of G I will use this one and this one is similar triangles and I know that these distances are 4 meters and 2 meters so this distance y upon 
this distance 2 meters equals to this distance 4 by 3 upon this distance 4 meters so this gives me y equals to 2 by 3 units and because this is in downward direction this will have a minus sign so this will have minus 2 by 3 displacement so this will be the influence line diagram for bending moment at C.